hey everyone and welcome back to prefusion so a lot of students were actually having queries about test series because they were they were getting tensed about getting low marks in the test series and how to an do the analysis how to attempt the test series and what is the main issue with the test series like why are you not able to score enough marks all those things i will address also i will show a live demo uh, like i will just sh show a test series from prefusion how would i have attempted and what would i have done after the uh, attempt of the test series how would i have analyzed the test series so all those things i will discuss so first i want to give you a few key pointers uh what you need to keep in mind while attempting it test series or while like in this particular test series thing right so these are few basic things uh, you can have other things as well but i will mention few things first thing is uh don't get scared of low max okay so once you start attempting the series because more most of the students will start attempting the series now only uh they will start attempting the subject by test series and you will see you are getting 10 marks 5 marks 9 marks out of 30 okay don't worry i also got those type of marks himanshu has also got those type of marks so it's fine initially you can get low marks but you have to understand uh why are you getting the low marks so you have to understand that that uh, i will address that later on but first thing is don't get scared of low marks it's okay it's totally fine to get low marks now you have a lot of time to improve your marks right you have still uh, four months three three to four months left so that is the point one next whenever watching lectures or solving problems use gate calculator download app on mobile so uh, i have seen many students they use the normal uh, calculator physical calculator uh, that they use in engineering right in colleges but no i would recommend highly recommend that don't use that calculator use your gate calculator uh, that a app comes on your mobile just download that because if you have not been doing it until now please do it because that will make you a good habit on how to use the gate calculator because when you go to attempt the test series right the calculator interface will be just like gate calculator it's like a uh, interface in the uh, P, uh, website right so you have to get trained how to use the calculator that can save you minutes okay 10 5 minutes that can save you huge minutes and that can also uh, save you marks as well because if you do something some silly error on the gate calculator right while calculating the answer that you will get the result that you will get may be wrong and you will put there and you will get negative marks so that can save you huge number of marks so this is my second recommendation please please use gate calculator if you aren't using already okay next is uh, how should your test series attempt be so first of all uh, your uh, sequence will be like this first you have studied some topic right you have to solve the class illustrations whatever the uh, teacher is solving okay whatever the question the teacher is presenting in front of you that those things you have to solve then you come to uh, the other things right and obviously he will give some assignment problems those things so those you have to finish first then you come to your gate pyqs you finish uh, some chapter like uh, let's say uh, until transient analysis right there are three chapters network uh, basis of network network theorems then transient analysis so you finish this three uh, chapters and you have finished the assignment question and the class illustrations then you go to the gate pyqs of those three chapters okay then you solve those then after solving all those things then you come to test series and uh, how to solve the gate pyqs and what things you have to keep in mind all those things i have explained in a video a revision strategy video so you must watch that then only you will be able to sync up with this test series video okay so uh, then you attempt the test series uh, then only you can be sure that okay i am ready for test series if you haven't done all this right first do this then you come here and then you can at least understand okay at least i have done enough practice at least i know the gate pyqs you should be able you should be confident enough to go and attempt the test series right now okay so that's the main barrier that you should keep uh, before solving the test series okay next don't revise just before the examination uh, the, or just before that uh, attempting the test series why am i saying this because many students they just revise like they have some short notes and they just go and revise their sh uh, short notes quickly if they're attempting let's say uh power of trace right they will just go and uh, revise the all the formulas uh that they have studied in power electronics uh for chapter one let's say rectifiers uh, chapter two let's say rectifiers I will highly discourage that. Why? Because while when you are going in the gate examination, right? When you are going in the gate examination, you have 10 to 12 subjects in mind. And what you'll do? Just 50, 30 minutes before the examination, you will swipe all the copies. Like your copies will be this big, right? Uh, I myself have given gate examination, and when uh, when I had physical copies, they were like almost almost of my height. If I just arrange all the copies in just a single uh, vertical line, okay? So you can't revise everything, right? So uh, you should have and have it directly go on the fly okay just go on the uh, sit on the test uh, like uh, sit, uh, start attending the test series and just whatever comes in your brain the formulas you directly uh, do the attempt right don't just before the attempting the test series just see the formulas okay i have okay i, I know everything okay now i have uh, memorized everything then i will go and vomit everything no this is not your semester examination 
in semesters we study 190 before the examination this is not the semester examination for gate we study for a whole one year okay there is a difference so it's okay don't don't need to revise before the attending the thesis but after that uh, attending the thesis obviously we need to you need to revise that i will talk about okay uh, then the next thing is you have to make a test series uh, pattern or test series flow so uh, uh, for now you don't have to make this okay for subject by test you don't don't have to worry about this but for full length test and mock test i will obviously definitely advocate having a perfect pattern so during uh, my time like what do i mean by pattern so uh, I, like i'm talking about myself you can have different pattern as well it varies from person to person so during my time what i did was i basically uh, had uh, like a pattern that if i am giving full length mock test, uh, test series right i will first attempt the aptitude paper okay then i will go to the technical section first aptitude then technical then what i will do technical easy questions i will do i will not attempt the difficult questions or the questions which i am not able to figure out what do i exactly need to do or which as uh, which i am feeling this is a bit tricky question or this is a bit difficult uh, don't attempt that question i i personally skip that question i just mark for review so like i will see a question which i see okay this is interesting i just read the question right so i have used my 30 seconds there to read the question so obviously i cannot waste those 30 seconds what i will do i will read the question i will analyze that okay can i do this question is this question doable if this question is doable but right now it is uh, like seeming that it is a bit difficult or it can take a bit of time it is lengthy i will mark for review okay and i will move on and i will just attempt the easy easy questions so in the first round i will attempt the easy question then medium then tough so i will have three rounds like this okay and you might say sir how will i know which question is easy which question is tough which question is medium okay. with practice right with practice once you start attending the series you yourself will have an uh, intuitive idea that okay this question seems very difficult i will attempt this later uh, but this question seems very easy i will attempt this now just uh, give you 30 seconds for scanning the question okay and scan the question properly okay you have to give your full mental uh, strength and concentration you need to be focused whenever you are attempting the test series you need to be focused and one more thing i will recommend everyone uh, whoever is studying study in slot of 3 hours because uh, your gate examination will also be a slot of 3 hours I will highly recommend you to sit for three hours to have a habit of sitting for uh, complete three hours, right? Else, uh, like it's okay, you can take five minutes break in between. But if you don't have the habit of sitting for three hours, right? In the examination, your full concentration may not be there. You will not be able to fully, uh, uh, like you will not be able to efficiently solve all the questions. So that is the uh, thing that I also also want to mention. I skipped uh, writing that point. So that also you can do. Okay. So I told talk uh, talked about test series pattern. You can make your own pattern. Now. After attending the test, you do heavy analysis and revision of the after the test. So how you do the heavy analysis? So first, after attending the test, you you will get uh, your solutions and wh what questions went wrong and what questions were correct. That's fine. Okay, you go into the wrong question section and also the right question section. Okay, once you go into the right question section, you will see which questions were actually tricky and you got it right. So you 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 will mark those for you as well, not review sorry, uh, favorite them. Okay, or you can take a screenshot or do anything like right? uh, store that question somewhere. Okay, so that later on. Once you feel like, okay, I'm maybe I'm forgetting this uh, concept or maybe I'm forgetting this chapter. How do I revise? You attempt that question. Okay, you go back and attempt that question so that your concepts will also get revised. Your question practice will also happen and uh, the formula will also get recalled. Okay, three things at once. Next, uh, you go to the at, uh, section where you were not able to solve. You go, go to the section. Now you see what was the problem? Was it your problem? Was the question wrong? Was it conceptual? Was this calculation? So you have to uh, like analyze all these things then you write uh, write down like if you let's say i used to make some silly mistakes uh, like i used to write uh, i used to divide by two uh, instead of dividing by three or something like that let's say for example i used to divide by two instead of dividing by three so I'll write that thing down somewhere so that i, I uh, like um, recall myself that okay i'm i'm forgetting this thing right i'm like i'm like making silly errors here i cannot divide by two so next time whenever that division by two process will come in your brain right your brain will automatically be fully focused so that it doesn't make a silly error so you can write it down somewhere i used to write it down it's up, up uh, totally up to you whatever you want to do you can do okay so uh, and obviously now if it is a silly error you solve it like this if it is a conceptual error you go back to your class notes if from the class notes also you cannot you are not able to understand you go back to the lectures uh, now if in the lectures also the teacher hasn't covered then you have to write the no uh, write, write on a separate section like what i used to do is uh, after finishing each chapter i used to give space of two three pages so that some new concept if i get to learn later on at a later stage while attending the series or doing something else right i will write it down there so you can write it down there okay so because uh, the concepts are infinite there is no limit to it you can uh, uh, learn infinite concepts so that's why i always leave some space out if i learn something new 
okay so these are the things so now if you are get uh, like if most of the errors are like most of the mistakes are conceptual then obviously don't attend the test series first you have to go to the gate pyqs and obviously study the lectures properly then only you go to these things okay so these are the few things now i will go back to the section so where i will show you uh, i will attempt one test series like how to attempt just uh, just starting bit what what do i do with the test series how do i attempt everything and obviously then i will show you the analysis part as well so let's go there okay so i will just show you a demo how will i attempt a test series just a short demo okay this is our uh, prefusion website so we have launched few test series uh, slowly we launch few other as well uh, be before december so you can look out, uh, you can be on the lookout for that so i will attempt this uh, let's say i am attempting like i have studied network theory transient uh, and i am attending transient analysis so obviously you, you should go with sequence so but i am not going in sequence i am attending transient analysis 3 so first of all i will look at the interface okay this is the interface and i observe that on the top hand, right hand side i have a uh, timer so you have to always have a uh, note of the timer how much time do i have left okay according to that you should proceed uh, but that should not strain you much uh, uh, you once you get the hang of it right once you attempt the test multiple times automatically your brain will beat the timer okay your brain will understand when you need to pace up when you need to slow down those things will come with practice and another thing is about the gate calculator so if i observe on the right hand side top there is a calculator right if i click on it this is the calculator interface so you should have a complete mastery of this calculator interface how do you compute everything right so if i have to do four times two divide by two okay so something like that if i have to do how do i do so uh, best would be first you do four times two then you press equals to then you divide by two okay so that's the best thing that i uh, that i used to do but you can you download the app on your phone and uh, you can have like do more things uh, practice more with gate calculator so that is about the gate calculator thing okay so now here if i see let's say uh, i'm i'm watching this first question so this first one the uh, the entire value is given okay l1 l2 are given and r is given and there is a current source so initially they are telling the switch s1 was closed s1 was closed then it is open and s2 uh, and s2 was open for a long time okay s1 was closed and s2 was open for a long time and then suddenly uh, it has flipped so now s2 has been at equal to 0 and s1 is opened so what will happen so few things i can understand okay at t equal to 0 if s1 is closed for infinite amount of time right so obviously all of this current of 5 ampere that will flow through this none of the current will flow through this so this circuit is actually totally separate this circuit is totally separate so this doesn't have any energy now once uh, all of a sudden when s1 is open and s2 is closed what will happen is uh, uh, this current source and this inductors will come into action now will this be second order circuit third order circuit uh, first order circuit you have to identify that okay so if this feels like a bit of uh, like two inductors are given too, too intimidating for you what you can do I'm of them okay although I can solve it what I can do is I can mark for review here right I can press the mark for review and then I move to the next question let's come to this question this question has initial like capacitor voltage is given uh, and the uh, this Vs okay V uh, this VO equation is given right uh, and expression for V of T is given by this okay so they are asking me what will be the value of V uh, V1 v1 is uh, which one is v1 actually here oh, okay this uh, we have to find out this v1 right so again this also seems a bit inti intimidating and this uh, seems like a msq so i i will uh, recommend you to attempt the msq later on and one more thing there is that if you have suddenly have clicked something and if you have uh, answered that question but suddenly something clicked on your mind okay that question may not be like that okay current was actually in the opposite direction i took the uh, positive direction i may have done some mistake so you go back in the in the previous question and don't like uh, like untick the wrong option and tick the uh, correct option you what you do is first you clear response first you clear response then you tick the correct option whatever you choose always do this okay. if some previous question you have made some mistake you go to that question okay then you clear response then you press the correct answer then you save and next okay then do the seven looks so that's how you attempt the series okay and you can mm, like attend all these things if so, the something is easier this is some ac transient question and let's say i haven't uh, like revised ac transient for a while so i will skip this question for now okay and like this you can go along okay uh, whichever question fine uh, is uh, suitable for you you can solve that question okay so like this you can go and attempt the series and then once you submit i will just submit the test series in front of you okay i will not solve obviously i will just submit the test series in front of you then once i submit it i will get uh, back all the like analysis all those analysis tools so i will i will sh uh, show that and for full end test series also the thing is same only uh, just you have to uh, have a pattern how you attempt the test series that thing is more important okay so here if i observe that uh, obviously you don't look at my score and all those things uh, so i will go into the correct section first so if i go into the correct section correct section nothing is correct so obviously because i, I haven't attempted it so 
I'll just go back here and just see. Okay, this question was like this. Okay, this question seems interesting. This type of concept I haven't learned before. So I will actually then uh, either take a screenshot of this question or like here there isn't any option for uh, favorite. So I'll take a screenshot of this question and store somewhere. Or uh, in my notebook, I'll write this question. And uh, the, uh, and next time when I will attempt a network theory uh, test series, right? Let's say at night I'm attend attempting the test network theory test series. I, uh, I at morning. Uh, just before the test series, you don't need to revise but at morning what i will do i will just solve these questions so that okay few things i have revised at least a few concepts i have revised those concepts i have revised uh, at least bit of confidence i have before attending the test series and one more thing i forgot to mention is that you always uh, you will get the admit card near jan or something jan uh, or something uh, sometime so once you get the admit card right always give the mock test series on that time slot let's say from morning 9 to 12 you have your gate examination they will give the time so from 9 to 12 always give mock test series okay and from uh, if your examination is on the afternoon from uh, 3 pm to 6 pm then you attempt the test series mock test is on that period of time okay so these should be few things that you should keep in mind and i forgot to tell you the frequency of test series right now just as you move along as you finish the uh, gate p values of all the chapters or all the subjects then you start writing the subject by test series don't need to write the mock test series you can write the full length mocks as well right now but you can write the, that at around november and december you can start that okay uh, we will make videos about what is what should be the frequency on all those things uh, we will make those videos later on but for now just try focusing on subject by test series and as you as soon as you finish one gate p values and as soon as you finish a total subject you can start with attempting the test series obviously before uh, uh, obviously after solving the gate pyqs and your class illustrations okay so yeah that's a uh, that's about it for this test series video i hope this video helped you guys if it did please do hit the like button and obviously you can visit our uh, website prefusion.in for any courses gate courses placement courses or test series thank you for watching and happy learning